Shares of Matterport continued to trade significantly below their buyout price of about $5.50 per share from CoStar. Now that includes half of that payment in stock, so it's going to be worth a little bit less than that. But I think the big question now is, is this deal going to close? Is it going to close relatively quickly? And is there a pretty big premium that investors can collect if the deal does end up closing? As I'm recording, shares are trading for $4.42 per share. There is a $2.75 per share cash payment if the deal closes, and then another $2.75 per share in stock. I'll get to some of the details behind that in just a second because that stock side might be a little bit lower, but I still think there's a potential for a pretty significant upside for Matterport. And this deal may close because it is a strategic acquisition and not just a financial acquisition. Yes, shareholders have to approve it. That is a risk. But I think there could potentially be upside. My name is Travis Holliam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's look at the acquisition details first and why it's taking place. Because I think that's key in thinking about if the deal is going to close or not. So here's the release from CoStar announcing the acquisition of Matterport. So a few Things to focus on, the Matterport shareholders will receive $2.75 per share in cash. This alone is more than the stock was trading for before this announcement. So as a shareholder before the deal, that alone could be reason to hold till the actual closing. The other $2.75 in shares are in CoStar stock. There are a few details down here at the bottom. The transaction is subject to a 10% symmetrical caller based on CoStar's Share price of $86.02 per share at the midpoint. So that $275 was based on that $86.02 share number. Shares are trading a little bit lower than that, but there is a caller, meaning there's basically a limit to that dilution. So Matterport investors would actually get more shares if stock, if CoStar stock continues to drop. The other piece of this to think about is this is subject to the approval of Matterport stockholders and the satisfaction of customary closing conditions. The deal has been unanimously approved by Matterport's board of directors and shareholders re representing 15% of the stock. So you already have kind of a head start with approving this deal. Now, a lot of shares are going to be in funds that are run by institutions. So typically you don't make this kind of acquisition announcement without already knowing this is kind of in the bag. This is also a massive premium for Matterport shareholders. And I think it's pretty clear that this was not a financial acquisition. It was actually a strategic acquisition. And I wouldn't be surprised that behind the scenes, there was something of a bidding war, given the fact that this was more than a 200% premium from where Matterport's shares were trading before the acquisition announcement. So from Matterport's side, I think it's pretty likely that the deal closes. From CoStar's side, we don't know exactly what the outs are. But again, this is a strategic acquisition. CoStar already has 300,000 Matterport digital twins. And I want to highlight this from the conference call after the deal was announced. This is CoStar CEO. There were 7.4 million views of Matterport 3D tours on apartments.com. Visitors who interacted with the Matterport on apartments.com spent 16.6 minutes on the site, which is 134% more than the 7.1 minutes on the site for those who are not interacting with a Matterport. Properties with a Matterport generate 74 leads, which is 10x the seven leads generated from a property without a Matterport. So if you are apartments.com, you are realtor.com, there is tangible evidence that having a Matterport, having a digital twin drives increased engagement and increased sales. This is exactly the kind of differentiator that you want to have if you are CoStar. This is exactly why they're willing to pay $1.6 billion dollars for a company that only generated $158 million in revenue in 2023. So in a lot of ways, I think the risk is a little bit lower than a lot of investors think right now, but it's pretty typical for a deal like this to trade at a pretty significant discount. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Now, as I'm recording, when you consider that 10% caller which could potentially bring the purchase price down to $5.23 per share. There's about an 18% upside from Matterport's current price of $4.42 per share. Now, one of the reasons that there would be that much of a discount is because of the increase in the stock price before the deal closes. So if you think about this from an expected value standpoint, 
Let's say that you think there's an 80% chance that the deal goes through. You get $5.23 per share. That might that means that there's a 20% chance that the deal doesn't go through, and then shares would go down to $1.74 per share. At least that's what they were trading for before this deal was announced. So that's kind of the calculation that's going on in the background from investors and those who are trying to arbitrage this deal. I don't think it's a 100% certainty, but when you think about it this from both sides, I think it is very likely that the deal does go through. If you're a Matterport shareholder, you get a huge premium from where shares were trading before this announcement. And it wasn't really clear how the stock was gonna to get to above $5.50 per share. Yes, operations are starting to improve. We're starting to do a little bit better. I liked the leverage that Matterport had in the business, but it could take years to justify that kind of stock price. If you're co-star, you're seeing an impact from Matterport on apartments.com, on realtor.com. You're also taking this away, this value away from competitors like Zillow. So it appears right now that Zillow is still gonna be able to use Matterports, but instead of paying Matterport and that being an independent company, Zillow would be paying CoStar, which is arguably its biggest competitor in the market. So that's not a great place for Zillow to be in. You put them in a bit of a bind. So that's why I'm saying that this is such a strategic de deal for CoStar that I think it's very likely that they want to close this, despite the fact that I think it's a pretty high price for them to pay for the technology. And they're probably going to keep this business a little bit at arm's length because there's so much potential leverage for Matterport beyond just the real estate business. There's a ton, ton of potential applications for Matterport in construction and engineering. There are all kinds of in, interesting use cases for artificial intelligence. So they don't wanna destroy that potential value just to unlock the value that is seen in their core business. But they're more than happy to keep the value that does exist and put Zillow in particular, I think, in a, in a bit of a tough position. So I think this is a deal that's going to close the 20% premium is one that I'm holding onto. So I own shares before this deal was announced. I'm not selling them. And of course the risk is that shares do end up going down to something under $2 per share if the deal doesn't close. But then you go back to the position that you were at before where I liked Matterport's business and the upside potential there. The upside if the deal does close obviously is that 20%. And I think these announcements said that the deal could close by the end of the year. I think it would close a little bit quicker than that because this is not the kind of deal that's going to take a ton of time to go through. Integration isn't going to be all that complicated. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this close before the end of the summer. That's only a few months away. But we'll see how this exactly plays out. I still think this is relatively low risk for the multiple. But this is what you get with a little bit smaller stock. If this was a much, much bigger company, you see those arbitrage opportunities be a little bit smaller. And oftentimes it's just better to walk away and let the big money play the arbitrage game. But in this case, I'm willing to hold on and I'm not quite selling yet. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep my co-star shares, but that will be a video for another day. What do you think about Matterport's acquisition, the, the odds that it's going to close and the premium that you're getting? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.